milestone. And the race is on to crown the King of Coolum. Those high-speed inflatable boats will be tearing along the coast over the weekend for the fifth annual King of Coolum Thundercats race. Thousands are expected to watch from the shoreline as the boats smash their way through the waves at speeds of up to 90 kilometres an hour. There's only one way to survive a duck dive into a six-foot wave on a high-speed Thundercat. Hold on. Oh, you've got to have a good grip and hold on the boat, that's for sure. Eight two-man teams will compete over the next two days, each sponsored by a different Coolum business. Two of the teams, both up from the Gold Coast, got in a sneaky last-minute training session this afternoon. Oh, there's some good ones out there today. We've been up here last year and it was pretty big. It just depends on the swell. The Thundercats will race for five hours a day, but drivers aren't expecting Coolum to give them a smooth run. With this swell around, I think there's going to be a few incidents, that's for sure. There'll be a few boats going upside down, I, I can almost guarantee it. The sport is rapidly growing in popularity, and the King of Coolum has become a popular mainstay on the state's high-speed water events calendar. There's a lot of youngsters coming up who've been having the smaller boats, and they've been watching and, you know, they've been waiting to get their licence and jump on board. The event's tipped to attract more than 5,000 people to Coolum Main Beach. It's good for the um, Coolum economy. Uh, Two-day event. Uh, it's our fifth race with Thundercats from Brisbane, and we look forward to it every year. Racing starts at 8am. Simon Nichols, 7 News. They catch some air, don't they? Absolutely.